Well, hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to Amy Scents and Songs. So I have here um, a second small haul from Kringle Candle from their after holiday sale. So I did go in and order twice on the same day. I have been known to do that. And <laughs> this was the second purchase. And these arrived yesterday, so I will share them with you now. So a Kringle had a beautiful holiday selection and their scents were just so nostalgic for me. And I have smelled most of these before in either a candle form or in a wax melt form. So I'm just one by one. First of all, we have Oh Christmas Tree, and this was from the holiday set with these gorgeous labels and also with the imprint of the snowflakes on the back. This is a colored wax. This was, um, uh, this is a parasoy, so it's a soy blend. There is some paraffin in this, if I understand correctly. And this one, the scent notes for Oak Christmas Tree. The top is cedarwood and musk, the mid is sandalwood, Siberian fir needles, and the base is wood. So it's a woody, um, evergreen kind of blend, and it is absolutely beautiful. Very Christmas tree. Uh, the, the, the name is correct. It smells like a Christmas tree and it is beautiful. So I had a daylight candle in this and it was just magnificent. Daylight is the 1.5 little bitty candle. So then we have, this one is was in the same sale, but it is not a holiday scent, but this one is peaches and basil. And this just smells just like it sounds. Oh, that's beautiful. So this is from the Country Candle line, which is subsidiary of, of Kringle. And this is pure paraffin, and it's always in a, a colored wax. And these last forever. They burn so very slowly, long-lasting, and um, lovely scents. Now, sometimes I do get some discol discoloration of the wax as, the, as it recedes, um, but it... it you know, it doesn't really matter. And in the colored wax, it's not so obvious that it gets a little sooty colored. You have to keep the wicks trimmed on these. So, but this is a beautiful, um, nice, nice herbal basil and a beautiful, um, very, very realistic peach. So I'm quite tickled with that one. That's peaches and basil. Next up from the Christmas line in the, in the country candle is Christmas is here. And again, Country is going to be a colored paraffin wax. This is going to burn very, very slowly, and we won't be able to see that sooty discoloration as it goes down, which is fine with me, you know. And I will keep the wicks trimmed so that we don't have to have all that uh, soot. So, the Christmas is here is tangerine, lavender, eucalyptus, cedar, balsam, and amber. So, you do get that beautiful. Um, citrusy note like an, an orangey note along with the cedar and then the evergreen and from the balsam and a bit of sharpness from the eucalyptus i have had this one before it is gorgeous i'm just going to sniff it now oh it's just it's very fresh and bracing because of that eucalyptus in there and also because of the citrus so the the evergreen note is more of a, a an equal player with the other um, fragrance notes as compared to a Christmas tree which is predominantly evergreen so that's a beautiful blend then what did not come in this shipment but what is burning back here is what I think is like the, the most perfect candle I have ever had this is the soy tall candle to wick in snow-capped Fraser with the extremely beautiful nostalgic label which you probably can't see very well unless I bring this forward. These labels, here, there you can see that a bit better. Snow-capped Fraser. This is soy formulation, no soot. Look, at it just burns so nicely and evenly beautiful wax pool. This burns slowly also, but not as slowly as their paraffin. But this has been going for days. I, I let it go for a few hours, stop it, trim the wicks, let it cool off a little bit, and then put it on again or relight it. <laughs> 
put it on. It wasn't quite the correct phrasing. Okay, next we have Aurum and Evergreen, and this is one of my all of my top favorite of all of their holiday scents. So this one has the grapefruit in it. Oh, you know, grapefruit and evergreen together. This is just beautiful. So this is a soy two wick candle. And this one is described as pink grapefruit, Siberian fir, cinnamon leaf, and Valencia orange. So very much a citrus and evergreen uh, mixture, just a touch of cinnamon. I really don't get much cinnamon in that. It's more the, the grapefruit and the evergreen together. That is glorious. This is my second candle and probably my third um, effort altogether because I had it in wax melts as well. So that's Aurum and Evergreen, and that one is going to be an annual favorite. Next up, we have Frosty Branches from the Country Candle line. And I'm sorry, the light in here could be better. Um, that's Frosty Branches. I just finished wax melts of this the other day, and this is a bracing, almost bitter, um, very frosty evergreen note. So this is kind of like the fresh sap and just a sharper um, green fir tree. Wow, that's beautiful. Now this is one I can enjoy for about four or five hours and then I need to blow it out for a while and do something else because it is on the on the bitter side, but I really like that. I just don't want it for hours and hours. This one is also grapefruit, orange, cedar, moss, and bergamot, and that bergamot is noteworthy in this particular um, blend. So it's it's very sharp and bracing, cold and frosty, and just beautiful. <laughs> so if you like a colder, more sharp evergreen uh, blend, that would be the one. That's frosty branches. Next up we have Merry Christmas, and this again was from the beautiful um, holiday set with the very uh, old-fashioned gorgeous label. And again, the um, snowflakes on the back. This is a red wax, so this is Parasoy. This was a soy blend. And these three wicks do quite well. So the, the notes in this one, Merry Christmas, read as bay leaves, cinnamon bark, and woody notes. So this one is saved from being overly cinnamony, which it is quite cinnamony, and it is more of a red hot type cinnamon, but that bay leaf in there just saves it and gives it something quite different. You do get the woody base. So this is more like a spicy woody uh, treatment, and the bay leaf rescues that red hot cinnamon. That's Merry Christmas, and I did enjoy that in wax melts. Finally, two wax melts I got here, and I have been having excellent success from their wax melts. These are the country candle versions, so colored wax. We have a green and a blue wax. Uh, this first one is Home for Christmas. This is extremely beautiful. Oh, it is a, a beautiful clove. Home for Christmas is described as clove, pine, and uh, smoky notes, and orange. So you do have orange, it's like a pomander pine with a little smoke going. You have a pomander ball and a wood fire going. It is just lovely. This is one of my favorites also. I would say Orum and Evergreen, Snow-Capped Fraser, Juniper and Laurel, and Home for Christmas are my favorites from the, um, the Christmas selection. And I put two of these in the back bedroom, two in the living room, and two cubes in the kitchen, and the whole house just smells gorgeous. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, we have a ranch home. So if I do two, two, and two like that, it just is fabulous. It, it scents the whole house. Okay, Mountain Chalet is the last thing I have here. Mountain Chalet is described as fir balsam, smoked woods, clove, and musk. So rather similar to the other one, but without the orange. So whereas Home for Christmas has that pomander and then a smoky... Um, a smoky wood fire. This one is more of the fir branches and then um, a smoky fireplace or a wood stove going, but you don't have that orange note. So that, that they're somewhat similar because this does also have clove. They both have clove in it, but this does not have orange where Home for Christmas does. And there you have it. So I am quite um, 
quite taken with Kringle and Country Candle. I've been melting these for me and burning them for about six months now, I would say. And I am really uh, standing behind this brand. So I did buy all of these with my own money. If you would like to use my discount code, it's Amy15. You'll get 15% off of any um, non-otherwise sale items. So if they already have a code, you won't be able to stack the code. But if, if the code box is empty at checkout, you can add Amy15 and you'll get an additional 15% off. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, all take care, stay safe, hug your families, and until next time, bye for now.